Hi guys, today we are going to animating a flower using wax. So let's start it. Take Geo and rename as Blooms and Blossoms or whatever. We are starting by creating a basic flower. To creating a flower petals, take a grid geometry and decrease the number of rows and column to 2 and replace the orient axis to xy. And apply a rotation of minus 45 degree on this axis. Next, add a subdivide node. Change the algorithm from Clamor class to subdivide loop and increase the subdivision for more topologies. Now add a poly bevel and set the group type to points and the index number will be 1. And increase the distance ramp set into 1.5. Next node will be our band. Set the capture region of the band node by dragging from the middle to the left hand side and set the up vector angle to 90 degree and make sure that deforming both directions is enabled set the band angle to 45 degree this is our single petal next node will be our for each loop number then add a transform between each loop i want the geometry to rotate 45 degree with each iteration we can find the details of iteration attribute name here after that just add the syntax, multiply with details where the first parameter will be our geo handle, second will be our attributes and last but not least will be our zero. Now we can control the numbers of copy using iteration parameter. Next add a transform node before the band node. Adding some offset between them that they resemble a flower. Now let's incorporate the transform node in our loop. Use this syntax to copy and paste it along with the axis. Additional decrease the degree of rotation slightly for each iteration. Increase the iteration count to create more pedals. It seems like there is an issue between origin. Add match size node and set y axis minimum. Now we can see that it resembles a flower. Increase the Z axis offset to 1 for wider spreading petals. I would really like to give an example to better understanding what we gonna do next. For example purpose I am taking a grid. After that increase the topology for better resolution. And use soft transform node and group the center point of the geometry and increase the radius. Next apply a slightly negative transform on the y axis. So we are going to create a trampoline effect. So this is our trampoline geo. After that create a sphere and change its primitive type from polygons to primitives. This will create a single points on entire sphere. Next add a wrangler. Connect the first input to our trampoline and the second input to the sphere. Create a vector name pause and add a function to import data from the second input. We want to retrieve the position of the first index from sphere. Create one more vector dir to represent the direction. This vector will be calculated subtracting the current position from the position vector which will L the direction output. Next create a float variable called this to represent the distance. This will be calculate the distance between our mesh and sphere. To obtain the direction in normalized form, create a vector called endir that will store the normalized version of the direction vector. This function will scale the direction vector so that its length is equal to 1. To implement this variable, we will update the position by adding a normalized direction, multiply by distance and then apply a custom parameter called scale on the p axis. Sorry, on the address rate p on y axis. Then hit the compiler. Here we can set the magnitude scale. When we move the sphere, the points of the geometry also move along with it. Add a sign function and allow the geometry to move between 1 and minus 1 on each frames. Then we combine the sphere and trampoline. Here we can see that the trampoline like effects has created by using this expression. So rename the wrangler called attractor. If we want we can replace the sphere also by using copy to point node. Connect the sphere to the second input. I am using rubber toy for test preview. And connect this on first input. Now we can see that the rubber toy are bouncing on geometry. Now 
now we have to apply the same expression to our flower now back to our flower first create a sphere and change its primitive type to polygons to primitives now position the sphere in the center of the flower now connect the wrangler node that we have created for trampoline the first input will be our flower and second input will be our sphere here we gonna adjust the parameter and sphere location to resemble a flower with the closed petals after that we use attribute promote node to control the strand here we need to make a change first let's comments out the implementation now create a float attribute called this this is our distance to define the normal direction instead of using a vector directly create a attribute of type vector now in the attribute promote node set the original name to this and new class will be our details and promotion matter will be maximum we need to add one more wrangler here creating a float variable called max distance and assign its value of the dist attribute by using detail function after that we use expression at dist divided by max distance to normalize the dist attribute convert its value to range between 0 and 1 we need a ram to control the distance attribute and ram name will be our dist for updating the attribute position adding equal to normal direction then multiply with our attribute distance and parameter magnitude then multiply with y axis position then hit the compiler exit the parameter and ram to create a closing pedal shape next add a blend shape node and connect the second input then connect the first input initial flower geometry now we can control the blossom effect now simply keyframe this for animation So this is example 1. Right now I have a rose which I created in Blender. You can use any geometry you want. Just copy this whole notes and paste here. Then connect the second input of the blend shape node to the geometry of rose. Now here need a second input add a primitive sphere. Adjust the position of the sphere as needed. Add a mesh size node to align the origin of the sphere with the rows geometry and offset the axis. Just the parameter RAM create a smooth transaction that resemble the shape of flower. And keyframe for animation. Thank you for watching this video, I hope to see you on next one.